Let's talk about why the USA failed in Vietnam. OK. Vietnam was part of a French colony known as French Indochina. But during World War II, it was occupied by the Japanese. A nationalist and communist party, the Viet Minh, led by Ho Chi Minh, fought the Japanese and, after the war, they fought the French too. Did the French defeat them? No, even with millions of dollars in US aid. After a defeat at Dien Bien Phu in 1954, France withdrew, dividing Vietnam into a communist-controlled North and a pro-Western South. So why did the USA become more involved? The US president in 1954, Eisenhower, believed that the USSR and China wanted to use Vietnam to spread communism into countries like Thailand and Cambodia. This was known as domino theory. Each country toppling to communism and then toppling another one. So he sent financial aid to South Vietnam, even though its government was corrupt. And that prompted the formation of the Viet Cong in 1960, a guerrilla group who fought alongside the Viet Minh against the South Vietnamese authorities and military advisers sent by President Kennedy. That's right. Kennedy didn't want to be sucked into a war, but when US ships were attacked in 1964, his successor, Johnson, sent more troops. By 1967, there were 500,000 US troops in Vietnam. So why couldn't the US defeat the Viet Cong? The Viet Cong used guerrilla tactics, and US troops couldn't tell them apart from the Vietnamese citizens they were protecting. When the Viet Cong launched the Tet Offensive in 1968, they were beaten back. But the US public, who'd been told the US was on the brink of winning, was shocked by the communist strength. US troops relied on firepower and bombing, which alienated the local people and they couldn't stop the Viet Cong being supplied by the Ho Chi Minh Trail that ran through Laos and Cambodia. Even Operation Rolling Thunder, a massive bombing campaign, failed to have any real impact. There were protests in the USA at the number of US deaths, weren't there? Yes, and events like the My Lai Massacre, Nixon's decision to secretly bomb Cambodia, and the shootings of four protesters at Kent State University all added to the public's determination to stop the war. So Nixon pursued a policy of Vietnamization, training up the South Vietnamese forces to fight by themselves. Did this work? No. In January 1973, US troops withdrew from Vietnam. In 1975, the North took over the South, and Vietnam was united under communist rule. We hope you have enjoyed using Revise on the Move and wish you the best of luck in your exams.